Hey guys, so I just wanted to come in here real quick to talk about Sinead O'Connor. Now she's the singer that did a cover of the song called Nothing Compares to You that was written by Prince. And lately I've heard not so good things about her. Um, I was on my Prince group page on Facebook and there was a, a article that my uh, friend Vince Simpson had uh, posted on there. It was from the New York uh, Post website, and the title read, Survive, I Am Surviving um, a Hellish Whatever Prince Something. I, I don't really uh, understand or get it, um, but I'm pretty sure it's basically about Sunita O'Connor talking about Prince once again in a negative light. I don't know what her deal is. I don't understand why she's um, making up stories about Prince and just being uh, ridiculous. It seems to me that she's suffering from a mental uh, illness of some sort, I'm assuming. And I hope that she gets the help that she needs because what she's doing, you know publicly trying to slander Prince and his name is just really uh, not a good look on her part. So I wish she would stop, but it seems like she's going to just do whatever she wants to do. So I don't know what her deal is, but it's just really sad that she's uh, doing stuff like this online, you know, and... I see different articles about her. It, it, it's just crazy. I don't understand it. <laughs> but, yeah. But I wish that she would leave Prince alone, though. Because Prince never done anything, you know, to her. Never talked about her badly. Except for maybe he didn't like the cover of the song, Nothing Compares to You. You know, that's all, you know, I got from him. From what I heard, but uh, other than that, he never said anything negative, you know, about her. So it just really doesn't make sense why this woman is attacking Prince, knowing that he's not here and he can't defend himself, you know. And I was also on Instagram, and somebody was bashing Prince, saying that he was a drug abuser and all that, but I just simply, um, went to the person's page and blocked them. And then I um, restricted uh, the account and I reported it. So, I don't have time for people's negative uh, comments, you know, about anything. It's just ridiculous. So, <laughs> crazy. Yeah, so that's my take on uh, Sneed O'Connor, you know, and what well, she's been talking about Prince, you know, that. So I just thought I'd uh, make a video about it and discuss it, you know. And also, um, I want to quickly talk about um, the Rugrats reboot before I get off here because it's kind of late, you know, so... But yeah, have you guys uh, heard about the Rugrats reboot? Um, it came out on May 27th, you know, a few days ago. And um, I read an article online that it was going to turn uh, the character, you know, Phil and Lil's mom, uh, Betty DeVille, gay. And um, when I read the headline of that, um, I felt you know, a bit angry and upset about it because I didn't understand, you know, why they would, uh, do that. You know, it just, uh, doesn't make any sense to me at all. Because, um, the Rugrats, you know, it came out, like, in the 90s and they had, um, a good run. And then in the year 2000, they had a couple of spinoffs, you know, they did um, All Grown Up, you know, of the Rugrats. I thought that was a pretty cool show, you know, to do. 
And they had a couple of movies, like the Rugrats movie and the Rugrats in Paris. You know, I've seen that as well. Those were all right. You know, but to uh, do a reboot of Rugrats to me, you know, and then have it put on Paramount Plus, like the animation and the style of it is just, I don't know. I don't um, get why they're doing one, but I guess, you know, if that's what they want, then it is what it is. You know, but, um, well, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't understand why they're turning the character, uh, Betty the Bill gay. You know, I have nothing against gays and all that, but, um, my curiosity is why are they, uh, trying to turn a character from regrets, you know, like that when she was married to a man, you know, um, named Howard DeVille, because, that was the husband. That was the father of Phil Will. So it just um, doesn't uh, add up or make any sense. I just think it's weird. You know, I don't have a problem, you know, um, with it. That's what they want to do, and that's fine. But I, I just think it's, you know, kind of weird. So I, I don't know. That's just my opinion. And I'm not trying to be negative or anything, but. It's just, you know, my take on it and all that, so. Because I know they done a few reboots, you know, with other shows, with Nickelodeon. Like with the Are You Freddy of the Art. That too, I seen the reboot of that, of the miniseries. That was horrible. You know, I think the first one uh, was about a carnival, you know, or something. And then the second one was, was a mini series. You know, it just doesn't work out. See, I like the original, you know, when it comes to shows, you know, as far as like Rugrats and like Are You Pretty Dark, you know, stuff like that. Now, if you they do like reboots, you know, or sequels, stuff like that, you know, I'm, I don't uh, really care for them. You know, uh, that time when I did a video about, uh, the sequel for Black Panther. You know, I talked about that. So, but, um, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's just not the same anymore, you know, with shows nowadays. It's just not fun or entertaining to watch. You know, nowadays, like, all you see on TV is, like, sitcoms, you know, or reality TV. That's all we have. You know, because that's what they show on VH1. They show it on uh, MTV and BT. The black community, you know, especially for BT, um, they don't even support the network anymore. You know, because it's the shows that they once had, it's not there anymore. And I wish they were bringing some shows back. That would be nice. You know, like 106 in Park, you know, or uh, Rap City. That was awesome. And a few other uh, shows, you know, but it's really sad, you know, but that's how it is. Yeah, so I just wanted to come on here, um, like I said, to talk about Sneed O'Connor and uh, talk about uh, the Rugrats reboot, you know, give my opinion on it as well, so, mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm gonna get off of here now and watch some stuff, like on YouTube or whatever, and then probably get some sleep, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye.